میرن I feel like it's actually been pretty easy being pregnant. <laughs> like I'm just now to like the tough part, so. Um, I'm just, I'm just, Peter, like, in my ribs. <laughs> what did you think? I said it's Peter like in my ribs. <laughs> I am 34 weeks and my due date is July 1st. <laughs> we got just about everything except him, so. <laughs> These are only only thing left. <laughs> See how it's kind of made this like yeah. curvy path? Just kind of follow what stumps down and I'm gonna back up. Actually keep laughing. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. <laughs> Kim's laughing, Kim laugh. Good <laughs> laugh, Kim, laugh. You're you're swishing in a field of beautiful flowers. It's not weird at all. <laughs> I'll have to wait all this time, all this time. Waiting for the day you'll be, mine. you'll be mine You'll make it all okay When you make up your mind I know it's crazy But you work the way pregnant women are amazing and I think it's they glow they do and they're beautiful and I just think it's amazing that God made us to be able to grow babies with our bodies and so to be able to photograph that is incredible I love it it's a client I want to fix her hair but then when I'm fixing her hair I'm like going oh it's my grandbaby <laughs> so I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to meet him but more of like anxious and excited because I'm I'm ready for sure <laughs> and it, get, it can't get here soon enough <laughs> together started just a few years ago. Um, I knew about her when we were in high school. Uh, I had seen her in the halls and I, I knew her name, and but we never really met. Um, we didn't run in the same circles, didn't have the same friends, didn't, didn't hang out at any of the same locations or anything, so we never really met um, until I came back from college and I started working at Sonic. Um, and I met her for real there. Um, you know, I was dating somebody and she was dating somebody and it just didn't really work out. Um, but we were friends. And, yeah. Uh, Best friends. Yeah. We were really <laughs> close. And then we both got single around the same time. And we decided we were going to be spontaneous. Um, yeah, this is our first date. Yeah, it's our first date. We didn't really call it a date <laughs> until after the fact, but... Um, me and my best friend, Brooke, were working one night, and she was like, you know, you want to go somewhere? And I was like, yeah, let's go somewhere. Like, where do you want to go? And she said she wanted to go to the beach. And so I was like, yeah, but who are we going to go with? You know, you have James, which is her husband now. And she was like, well, you can just go with Lane. And I was like, okay, well, we get off at four in the morning <laughs> and I called him and I was like do you want to go to the beach and he was like yeah and I was like well right now <laughs> so the, we were both in the point in our lives where we didn't have really responsibilities you know no major yeah. bills to pay no and I had just got my tax refund I just got it so I was like you know 
am I gonna I'm gonna spend this there's no way I'm, I'm spending this money <laughs> do we go to the beach now or do I do something else and so we picked up at 4 30 in the morning yeah, and, and drove to the beach went to the beach and ever since then we just kind of been inseparable yeah and That's then cool. one day while we were dating my niece was like you have to ask Cameron to marry you for my birthday. That was what she wanted for her birthday. Yeah. From me. And she was like... Seven. Six, seven. Six or seven. Yeah. So that's what I did. I proposed at her niece's birthday party. <laughs> With all of my family there and we were happy. But it's not been terrible. I mean, it's been pretty funny, and he's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Did I hear he's sleeping a lot, actually? Well, actually, we're sleeping pretty decent. I'm sleeping better than I when I was at work. So, for now, anyways. <laughs> trickiest part is always trying to get them settled into a position that I want <laughs> when they have their own ideas of what they want. So you have to be patient and just try to encourage them to do what you want. If it's not too quiet outside Wakes up a couple times. So. Yeah. Um, it's been a, so far. It's been easier than people have told us it would be. Yeah, a lot easier. He's he's been pretty good. He just wants to eat and sleep mostly. <laughs> well, I walked with him a little bit, and that seemed to calm him down. But then that he didn't care after a while. Um, 
So we were racking our brains trying to figure out what he wanted. And he was always quiet when they brought him back from the nursery. So I just tried rolling him around in that little crib they had. And he was like instantly <laughs> asleep. He loves rolling around and whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we have him in a bassinet. Yeah. We'll roll him around. We wanted some time first before a baby to do, you know, travel a little bit and, and, and have a period where it was just us. So we weren't, you know, really trying for a baby or anything. And but it happened. He surprised us, and here we are. So then we moved back to Cersei and bought the house that we probably still live in whenever we watch this again. <laughs> and yeah, we didn't really buy anything for him until... We moved in, so... We didn't. Yeah. So, not even any of his stuff has known a life in any other house. Michael Wren Boyd. Um, he uh, he got the Michael part from me and my dad and my grandpa. Um, it's a it's just runs in our family, um, and I figured we could keep it going. And mm -hmm. then we were having trouble for a long time deciding what his middle name was going to be, what he was going to go by. Um, my only condition was that it was not something that rhymed with my name because <laughs> my dad's Shane Lane people got us confused all the time it was so it had to be something way different than mine um and then Cameron t texted me one day while I was at work and said Ren question mark I was like who is Ren what do they want like what do you well I was sitting at the table at my parents house and they were asking me like have you figured out a name or anything? And I said, no. And so they were just kind of throwing names out there. And my sister was like, what about Wren? And I was like, yeah, Michael Wren. That doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> so I texted him and he was like, yeah, sounds good. Uh, it was probably like the first trimester of pregnancy, I had this really weird craving. It was probably one of my, I only had two cravings, but this one was really weird. So I wanted pepperoni pizza with honey mustard, and I would dip the pepperoni pizza in the honey mustard and eat it. But that didn't last too long, and then mm. basically my whole pregnancy, it was mainly milk. I just craved milk. That was really it though. I didn't really get sick. <laughs> I don't feel like I she did. She stayed sick the entire pregnancy. Did you know, I? they say that some women have it in the first trimester, some don't have it till the last. She had it in all three. She was did I really? Yeah, I she feel was like sick I didn't. all the time. <laughs> I mean it got it got pretty cool whenever, you know, you can feel them kick and move around and stuff. But well the first so, time I could feel it, I told him to feel it and he was like, I don't feel anything. I was like, oh. Dang, now I told you. <laughs> it took a long time after she was feeling him for me to be yeah. able to feel him. We were laying in bed, and she was like, he's doing it. You know, he's, <laughs> a, he's about to kick. And that was her thing the whole time, too. She'd be like, he's about to. I could feel him. You he's can feel to. him like he's like winding up to punch and me. And so I like, turned over real quick, and I was like, you know, whatever. She said this a thousand times before, and I've never <laughs> felt anything. Where is he at? And I put my hand over there, and it was just like, boom. I was like, oh, <laughs> like I felt my heart drop in my stomach, you know, I was like, oh, there's something in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was definitely where it was like, got real 
very quickly. Mm. We wanted a boy first to be like the protective older brother for hopefully sisters in the future. We want a girl, maybe two. Um, but we definitely wanted a boy first to be able to be that mm. older brother for, for them. <laughs> it's like it's there. She texts you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be hungry. It was hungry, like getting in the car, and then as soon as we got in the car, he fell asleep. So. Oh. I'm sure he's absolutely starving now. Those are like the best invention ever. I know. I didn't have one until like baby number three. I was like, what on earth? Well, I didn't I like, not know about that. Because I was going to breastfeed, and then as soon as I realized we were going to do formula and stuff, yeah. I was like, okay, we need to get this because yes. it'll be a lifesaver. So yeah, come on in, and Yay. I know that you're... <laughs> this is like, you have the lights set up. Okay, so I'm gonna press play on your slideshow, and as long as we don't lose connection. Yeah, that one, right those there. Those dimples, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was looking at it, I was like, oh, that's the perfect one. <laughs> I think he was bigger. Yeah, but like, he looks bigger in the basket than I do. He's got to the point where he can get it up past the one and over turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's like he like falls yeah. over. Um, I have, so I'll send it to you. And if you guys are okay, he'll be on the blog today. Yeah. And then I'll share your nursery session yeah. um, either tomorrow or Monday. Okay. And I'm so excited. Friday, June the 25th, um, <laughs> I called him at work and I was like, I'm having contractions, you know. Well, let's back it up first. Okay. That, the night before, when I was getting ready to go to bed, the I was like. The week before. No, the night before. Well, if we were going to, we could start the week before and we were trying so hard to get him out. We were she bouncing was, on a ball. She had this yoga ball she was bouncing <laughs> on her. But the night before. Friday, Thursday night, when I was getting ready to go to bed, you know, I had to go to work on a Friday, and there was only, you know, so many days I could take off for the amount of PTO I had, so I, I really couldn't afford to miss work until he was ready to come, and, you know, so I was going to go to work, and, but I was like, wouldn't it be so, so bad if he came tomorrow, because that's like the one day I have to go to work for the next four days, and it's going to be, it's going to be just, you know be so much easier if he came on Saturday or Sunday, you know. <laughs> um, and then Friday morning, 
she says, I'm having contractions. And I'm like, okay, we're going to wait this out. And I'm not going to leave until I know for sure it's happening today. So, okay, that's yeah. where you were at. And so I call my mom and I tell her, ask her if she can um, like take me to the hospital or something. Because I didn't, I didn't want to drive just in case they kept me. But I figured I wasn't going to stay. And so she said, yeah, we'll we'll call Nanny and have Nanny drive you. And so, which is his great, 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 no, great. Nanny no, it is his great grandmother. Yeah. Great. grandmother. <laughs> She's just Nanny. Yeah, nanny. <laughs> um, and so she comes and picks me up. On the way there, you know, she's freaking out, thinks I'm going to have the baby in the car, even though they weren't even bad contractions. Hardly, I could feel them, but they weren't super bad. She um, runs a red light on BB Caps in Maine at the corner of BB Caps in Maine. And the like whole the, time I'm like, Like the oh big intersection. Like yes. <laughs> and the whole time she's, you know, sitting up there looking out the steering wheel and she's like... I'm shaking so bad. You better not have this baby in the car. <laughs> so we get to the hospital and, you know, they like take me up into the room and I'm just sitting there while they're monitoring, you know, all the contractions and everything. And then all of a sudden, maybe like three or four people come in and they're like, okay, we're going to get an IV. I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, get an IV. And then about 10 more people come in and they're like, hey, this is so-and-so, and it was a student, and we're about to take you, I mean, he's about to come, and I was like, okay, well, nobody's here. Like, I have to wait on my husband, and she was like, okay, well, what does he do? And I said, you know, he's at work, he's in Bald Knob right now, and at that point, my grandma had left, and my mom had got there, and so my mom came back there and was like, what's going on? And they were like, she's about to go and have a C-section. And by that point, there was probably 20 people in there, you know, like everyone in the hospital I felt was there. And I was crying because they were like, we can't, we can't wait on him, you know? <laughs> and then I ended up calling him and I was like, you gotta get here. You gotta get here because if you, if you don't, you know, they're just gonna, we're gonna have this baby either way, so. I was at work. And she she called me and told me, you know, these they're saying that it's, they're they're gonna do the C-section today, but you know there's other things they've got to do first. There's no rush. You gotta wait for the doctor to get here. All this mess. And so I'm thinking, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking I have some time. And then the our dispatcher sent me to Bald Knob like right after that. So I called him and I was like, how long am I gonna be down there? You know, I need to probably be in Searcy, you know, because I'm going to have to go at some unknown time, probably in the near future. They're like, yeah, you know, 10, 15 minutes and be down there while this other truck runs a transfer. It's no big deal. I was like, okay, it's no big deal. And then she immediately, as soon as I get there in Bald Knob Park, she calls me. They're doing it now. You got to come. You got to come now. And so, you know, I have to peel out a Bald Knob, run back to Searcy as fast as I can. <laughs> I ended up making it, but it was funny because I walked I walked up to the New Life Center. I went through the back because I was still in uniform. I had my badge for the hospital and everything. So I just walked up to the back and came out of the elevator. And as soon as I walked into the New Life Center, it was like 20 nurses in the nurse's station. I walked in and turned around and saw them, and they all looked like, it was like, like the seagulls off of Finding Nemo. <laughs> Mine, you know, they all looked at me and I was like, I'm here, let's go. <laughs> so they all stood up and they started going. Yeah. And it was funny, but I made it. And then I got to go back to the, the waiting area outside of the room where they did the C-section. I had to put on the gown and the cap and the, sh the shoe cover things. And I was sitting there, finally got all that done, sat down to wait for them to get ready and the doctor came out of the scrub room that was going to be doing everything he was like hey I was like, hey he was like why are you late and i was like i just got off the ambulance I was like, why are you late and he's like well i didn't think i was working today and <laughs> i had to call him in it was, it was funny the so the first time that i saw him because they had him kind of covered up when they were bringing him obviously you know they wrapped him in a blanket when they 
pulled him out. And then they took him to the station in the back where they do the wait and the clean him up and all that. And they were like, you can go over there. I was like, okay. So I was sitting with Cameron. I was like, is it okay if I, if I, you know, if I leave you here and go to him? She was like, go, it's fine. <laughs> so I went back there and the nurse, as soon as I got over there, she had to go and do something else. And it, it was like, wait, wait, you know, I don't, I don't, this is a brand new baby. I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't leave me with him alone. <laughs> <laughs> like help me, you know? Um, but it was, it was good. As soon as they got him weighed and all that stuff and were, and I was able to hold him, it was, it was like, it felt right. And then I was able to go back over to her while she was still on the table and everything and hold him right there and so she could see him and we could be right there. It was pretty cool. I was like, oh, that is definitely Lane. <laughs> Cause he held him like, kind of like this, you know, with a blanket on him and stuff and I was like, oh my gosh, that's literally Lane. <laughs> they look exactly alike. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I mean, I've been told, you know, even longer than, than we've been expecting him just from, from everybody that how hard it is and how tired you are and how basically until they get to where they can, you know, walk and talk and, and it just sucks and there's nothing good about it. And <laughs> and I I didn't really believe that. Like, I've, I didn't believe it at all, but I figured, you know, there'd be some, some mild to moderate tiredness going on. And, you know, I, I really, and I think it's part of my job too, because I'm up all night, you know, I have to get up and go in like a minute or two minutes, you know, and I don't have a choice. I figured that it would be, easy for me. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um, my my assumptions were incorrect. And at the beginning, at the very beginning, like the first two days while we were still in the hospital, it was miserable. Because mm -hmm. he wasn't eating like he was supposed to and he was hungry all the time. He was crying all the time. Well, we finally started with formula and and then it got easy, you know. The formula would feed him, he would feed on it, and then he would go, and he would go to sleep. It was easy, like that. And that lasted for, oh, maybe a week. And now I understand what everybody is talking about when they said you're tired all the time, because he never sleeps, <laughs> except except during the day. He sleeps during the day and not at night. Um, yeah. I get it now. So I definitely had expectations, and they were wrong. And, and I apologize to everybody I said that they were wrong too, but uh, I get it now. They're definitely different. It's definitely a different outcome than what I expected. You wanna go? Whenever he smiles. Well, his doctor said that it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and he said to just ignore it until they're like two months. He said yeah, the two, two, mo months? two month mark is where it's like an actual, like reaction to, to stimulus. And that right now it's just him learning to use his face muscles. It's still pretty cool though. Yeah, because I'm like, cool. oh, his dimples, you know, he's smiling at me. I will say the there was one night when I was, it was about a week ago. It was three or four days after we had come home. Um, when I was up with him feeding him and I got done feeding him and I burped him and we were just kind of rocking in his hanging chair in his room. And, um, you know, he's been from, from the day we got, like, like they brought him to the, to us in the room after they did all the everything. He's been moving his head, like he's been picking it up and stuff like that and pushing off with his legs. I mean, he's, he's just been doing it since, since we got him. He, that night he like pushed his legs just enough to where he put his head right on my neck and like wrapped his arms around my neck a little bit. And they're short little arms, so he couldn't reach, but that was pretty cool. He was hugging you. He was hugging <laughs> me, yeah. He's like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool.
I don't know, I think we've learned a lot. We're, we're, we're better at managing what his needs and figuring out what he needs. Um, <laughs> um, the lately has not been um, a good example because we've all been sick. But um, before that, I mean, we, we had, he, he was sleeping through the night and um, he's really a happy, happy baby for the most part. I mean, it's managing everything else in our life around him that's really got to the challenging part for us now. So, figuring out work schedules and... <clears throat> daycare. Daycare. <laughs> Stuff like that, but... He was mobile by, like, four months. Yeah. Um, honestly. <laughs> well, uh, now he's all around the house because he's walking, and, or in his walker at least. Um, so he's all around the house, so we can't leave plants out anymore at mm -hmm. ground level. They all have to be up above his reach or hanging or on the wall or, or outside. Because <laughs> he, he loves plants <laughs> and he will eat them immediately. He um, takes a beeline straight for straight them. For <laughs> he goes straight for, uh, if he can't get to the plants, he goes for the dogs. He will follow them around the house. And I think he annoys them. So they'll get up and move anytime he gets close, and so then he'll just turn around and follow him wherever <laughs> they went then. Ma Major, Major is the b best one with him. He'll, when he's in, especially when he's in his jumper, um, he'll go up and he'll stand right beside him so that Ren can hug Touch him or him. pull his hair out or pull his tail <laughs> or whatever. And he doesn't care. He's he doesn't. the most mellow one. He, he, he's good. As far as <laughs> expectations, I guess, uh, just seeing his growth, he's growing up faster than I had imagined. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's so smart, and he will uh, he'll figure things out one day. I it really it really is, but kind of upsetting for me because I'm gone for 24 hours at a time, if not more. And so by the time I come home, he's learned something completely new and is doing it, and he's good at it. And Took him 10 minutes to learn how to stand up in the crib. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were like, hold on to the bar, you know, trying to get him to learn, but kind of not <laughs> at the same time. And 10 minutes, he was doing it. <coughs> so, so, so that's the last time we um, have tried to teach him how to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> and we won't teach him again. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up too fast. A lot of stuff he does like Lane, which is funny to me. Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's kind of hard for me because there's days when it's really obvious. And then there's days where he just is kind of, he's just there. And he's just hanging out. So, <clears throat> I mean, I think we're starting to see that really, really come come about. Um, it's, not, it's not completely, completely there yet. I think he's still learning how he wants to react to stuff too, so. He's very much an extrovert. He loves to talk. Scream. Yeah. Scream talk. <laughs> so I'm wondering if he's gonna be like that whenever he gets older. No. It's kind of, it seems though like um, he does that more at home than yes. out. Like out and about, he won't so much. At home, it's constant. I mean, so, like all day if we're at home. <laughs> so I don't know if that's just him kind of like a, a, a a homebody extrovert? <laughs> or, uh, I don't know, but... Does he have a word yet? He says hi. hi. And hey. Yes. All the time. I don't, I don't know that he knows what he's saying. I think he's just imitating, but he, he says that all the time. Every now and then we'll get like mama or dada, but not a whole lot compared to hey. That is what he says most of the time. But once he starts saying it during the day, He'll say it all day long. Like that? <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Say, hey. He's like, no. So the, the top one is yours. Yeah, and there's a little laser button. The big one is Lane's. Okay. That's his Father's Day gift. And the bottom one is Bugs. But that, yeah, that, like I said, that top one is actually for you. You gotta open it. <laughs> that thing is making me fall. Come on, Bugs. You can do it. Like, I can get it. Oh my goodness. Okay, and that book over there.
was late until he was little. You better give me that phone. Get it for me. You better give me that phone. 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 You better give that phone to me. Oh. Oh, got it. <laughs> No, it definitely doesn't feel like it's been a year. Not at all. But at the same time, it feels like it's been forever. Yes. Like he's never not been here, but at the same time, yes, it's been. <laughs> um, since he was two weeks old, we have decided that he's never gonna stop moving. <laughs> he's all over the place now. He was not whenever he was two weeks. Like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been more of a learning process with him and like figuring out like you know how to you know interact with him and guide him to where he needs to be and grow and whatever but as far as like our lifestyle everything inside right. the house has changed and everything yes. outside is not <laughs> so, but we were not we we're not exactly like the most going out kind of people before him anyways so yeah. <laughs> And now we have a reason to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably for me it's how fast he's growing up. I mean, it's like, cause I come home from work, being gone for, you know, a whole day, come home and he's doing something different. It's like every time I come home, he's, he's learned something new or whatever. And so it's, it's like constantly growing up as fast as, faster than I thought he would. He does learn something new every single day. It's not always sure. a good thing either. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> Looking at your bald face. <laughs> What's your favorite face? I like now. Like he's he can play and like we're going out in the front yard and he's kicking the soccer ball around. Like we're getting like a lot a lot of interaction now and that's probably my favorite. Cameron liked the newborn I did. cuddles. I liked the cuddles whenever he was a newborn, but I also like 
the hugs now, and there are different types of hugs, you know? Like, he actually means it. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, he's always had a personality. It was more stubbornness at first than anything else. Very I think stubborn. he got that from his mother. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, I don't know, probably about six months old, he started. Well, you could after. definitely tell his personality through his facial expressions. Even at the newborn session, you could see it. Yeah. Like he's goofy, for sure. It or break it. I mean, I, I don't. I don't really don't think we could have been able to do it with, without having family around. Um, it's even just being able to go to work. I mean, it's been. It's been. <laughs> there, I mean, there have been several days where I had to call mom and be like, "Hey, I I've got nowhere else to take him," you know. So I mean, without without having them here, I don't. I don't it would have been hard. And it's just great, because if we need a break, my parents can help out, or his parents can help out. What advice would you give to your newborn parent self? Like, if you could go back, <sighs> what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself that not every fall means we need to go to the emergency room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that he's gonna get sick no matter what. Probably, I would tell myself that the patience will come. Like, yes. it was a it was a learned thing for sure for me. It was that was probably the hardest thing for me was learning the patience and getting to be patient with him. So <laughs> it was rough at first. It was. <laughs> he was like, I can't get him to go to sleep. <laughs> like, you just gotta be patient. <laughs> We've got high, high hopes and expectations. I mean, he's so smart and so advanced beyond where he's supposed to be. Um, he's, it's like the little stuff. Like He'll, he learned how to eat with a fork and a spoon. Yeah, he's already he's with been a so fork good. and spoon. He knows, he sees stuff and he understands. Like our the baby gate on, in, on his room, he knows how to open it. <laughs> He just can't yet. He doesn't have the strength to push the button down with his finger yet, but he knows how. 
We're, we're, we're excited to see his future. We're proud of him and he's, he's growing up fast, much faster than, than we had thought he would. Um, I'm sure in a blink he'll yeah. be 20. Yeah. Or 20. That's sad. But he's, I'm um, not ready. <laughs> I don't know. As long as he's happy. That's all that matters. Yeah. That's all that we care about. As long as each other are happy. As long as he's happy. So. <laughs> Surprise. I don't know. It's a boy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um. <laughs> it's all over the place. <laughs> We're gonna have to edit out like the ball noises or something. Probably it was. Six, sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at him. Uh, like six, what, six months old maybe? Pause, 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 pause. He really started. <laughs> me up.